Welcome to the Windows in Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 for 20H1, that's for next year. 20H1 build is of course the latest build released June 12th, 2019, build 18.917 for Fast Ring Insiders. There's a few little things in here to mention. Um, first of all, the install went well, it was quite long, which is the normal for this machine but it was okay, it had no problems, no glitches, no errors, no green screens. Everything seemed to work well. been using it for several hours this morning. It's pretty stable. What's new in here and what is of interest? Well, if you have been using Narrator and had difficulties with uh, reading of tables, there's uh, been an improvement in Narrator. Apparently the table reading is uh, improved. So you might have uh, something interesting in here if you're disabled and use Narrator. Uh, they've been tweaking it a lot to make it better, so hope that it actually is up to par to what you might want. Apart from the Narrator system, there's also uh, a uh, system, an update to what is the uh, settings, the download settings. So I don't have it on my PC, but I have actually a picture here um, the picture is basically um, showing you what it looks like. So you now have in download settings, and like I said, I don't have it. I'm still in the percentage. Uh, absolute bandwidth. Now you can limit how much bandwidth. So if you have a slow um, broadband connection, not only can you now, because percentage doesn't always really say what it needs to say they have absolute bandwidth information. You can actually put check marks here and limit in megabits per second. So this is what it looks like in your settings. So what you have to do is go into your settings, Windows Update. On the left side, you'll see Delivery Optimization. Uh, so if I do it here like this, I go into Settings. I go on the left side to I'll go to Windows Updates and Security, Delivery Optimization. Uh, in advanced option, this is where you'll see this. As you see, I don't have it, but I did show you what it looks like uh, thanks to that picture. So at least that's something of interest here. Um, another interesting improvement is inking. So if you are using inking on a tablet, there's uh, new inking features, including um, full screen snip that is easier to manage. So if you're on a touch device that use inking, you can check that out. And last but not least, for those that are fans of Linux uh, command lines and Linux in itself, uh, WSL2 or Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 is now available um, in this build. What's different in the version 2? Well, the version 1 wasn't a fully true Linux distro or info it was more of a virtualization of it. Version 2 is a real Linux code underneath and of course um, to have this working you need to install one of the you need to install the Windows subsystem for Linux within this, the uh, control panel uh, in programs and features and also you need to add a Linux uh, subsystem from the Microsoft Store. Once you do you've got this here and of course, this means that you are now have a more functional subsystem for Linux, more commands, more power over what you can do, including more integration within Windows itself. So all of that is now available in this new build. Apart from that, pretty stable build. No problems. I have no issues at all. So um, it seems to be quite good. And uh, a little more features this time around. So it's, that's literally nice to see this. Still waiting for 19H2. What will happen? When will we have something? That's anyone's guess. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.